Hey guys, and welcome to another episode here on our podcast here at Crossroad Garage. We are trying to help you build a firm foundation in fitness, food, and finances. And today what we're going to talk about is how to get involved in CrossFit, especially here at CrossFit Garage. There's usually a lot of opportunities in any CrossFit gym, but here's what you can do for us. So if you're a member, this is going to be good because it'll help you bring your friends in. If you're a friend of a member, this is great because it'll help you figure out how to get in. If you're just a local, then this will also also help you. And again, if you're out and about in the rest of the world, then uh, these tips and ideas will uh, resonate with you and you can use them anywhere as many gyms operate very similarly. So, okay, CrossFit Garage. We are in Woodstock, Georgia, just south of downtown Woodstock near First Baptist Church, which is the big church on 92. And we have multiple ways to get involved with us. I'm going to walk through all of them, give you some ideas, some uh, tips, and so forth. Uh, Members, this will be especially useful for you with your friends, like I said. Also, if you're an alumni, you can use these also. All right, so the first way. If you ever want to get with a CrossFit gym, I would recommend just calling, texting, emailing, whatever. Get in their system. So uh, we use a no sweat intro, and it's a pun. So we are um, having you come in, talk to Coach Jamie, our general manager, and just have a conversation about what your goals are. So it's no sweat, as in it's super easy, and you shouldn't fret or fear or feel intimidated. And it's no sweat. You're not going to sweat. We're, we're literally just having a conversation. So you go down that road of having a conversation. So many of the gyms will use some sort of uh, uh, email collection tool or um, campaign list. We do that as well. It's just really, really hard these days with the number of people that uh, connect that only want a specific piece of information to try to reach out to everybody every time. So we use automation to start the queue. And a lot of times that lets us know if somebody is like truly interested or they're just gathering data, which is totally fine. So when you jump into our email campaign, a couple things happen. One, you do get our 32 at-home workouts uh, on a Google Doc or, or linked to a Google Doc. So you can totally get that. I had mentioned it on another podcast that I was in. Um, with the bread backers. So if you just want to do some working out at home, here's some things you can do. It, it's great. It's good exercise. Some people just email in to get that link. Totally fine. Share it around. I'm happy you guys have it. The um, other way people get in is they're just curious about pricing and they're like, hey, what do you guys do? So I'll go ahead and tell you right now. It's pretty easy. Um, as of today, what is it's uh, July 30th. We have uh, our membership is $175 a month. We do not have contracts. We do not have a setup. We do not have a teardown. Uh, so if you want to be a member, if you've already done CrossFit and you know what you're doing, you just come in. We put you um, in our membership and away you go. Everything is run class-wise. So you come in for a class. Now, if you do a class, you can stay and do accessory work or extra or um you know, whatever it is you want to do. But we always want people to be in a class to start off with because we are um, really into coaching, mentoring, and accountability. If you just want a place to sweat, you don't want to follow class, that's not us, but I will help you find a gym that would work for you. For example, I have some people call in or call in, they text in or get into our uh, system and they're like, I am just looking for a place that I can go work out, do some CrossFit with all the gear at 10 p.m. I'm like, yeah, so most gyms are going to be done by then because it's um, coached and not many coaches want to be there at 10 p.m. They have a life as well. But if you're in the Kennesaw area, Brandon Phillips owns CrossFit Bound and he has 24-hour access. So that is a great gym if you're just looking to do your own thing and you want some sort of open gym, even at 2 a.m., he has 24-hour access. You can buy into that program. So I do know other places that offer different services. Or if you want to go to the games, or if you have a specific focus, like I just want to do Olympic lifting, that's not us. I'll, I'll push you over to a gym that does, or recommend you to a couple gyms that do just that. Okay. So no sweat and sure, you can go there. If you want to skip that, you're like, look, I just want to jump in and do some personal training, you can. You can um, text into us, get into our email list. Um, if you go to our website, crossfitgarage.com, you'll see our form. Just fill that out and we'll get back to you immediately. So what, what happens is you get an initial email and then you get an initial uh, text. And the text is automated because, again, we can't keep up with everyone. And we want you to know we got you. You're in our system. You did it correctly. If you don't get an email or a text from us, then you put your information in incorrectly or our system broke, which these days in 2023, the system usually doesn't break. The uh, internet is pretty uh, resilient and um, there'll be multiple ways to uh, to, to um, keep things going. Anyway, 
she'll get that from us. But if you want to jump right in, uh, which we've had people do, and it's totally fine. We love doing this. If you're just into personal training, we will be your personal coach. And um, you come in, you can do a 30-minute session. You can do an hour session. Actually, you could probably do something in between. Just talk to us. We'll figure it out. But our typical uh, is 30 minutes or an hour. If you're going to do a 30-minute session, what I would recommend, let's say you set up a session and you, um, sorry, I am driving gear to Auburn to help Olivia move in. So I'm, I'm <laughs> killing two birds with one stone and uh, trying to follow my wife through the traffic. So you'll hear me uh, doing blinkers and turning and whatnot. But um, anyway, so uh, if you've got a session set up, I don't know, let's say it's at 11.30. I would say, if it's not your very first session, because uh, you want to just meet with the coach and work through, you know, get familiar and so forth. But let's say it's, I don't know, your second, third, fourth, whatever. Then your session's at 11.30, come in at 11.15, hop on the rower, warm yourself up. It's really easy to do, hop on the bike, warm yourself up. That way you have more uh, time with the coach, not just warming up, which pretty much anyone can do to get on the bike and get on the road, right? It's really not that hard to get started in the warm up. Now you may not know what stretches to do, that's fine, let's wait for the coach and they will take you through that progression. Typically when you're doing personal training, you're gonna shortcut the process of many things because you're one-on-one, -on -one. that's just the best way to do things. We In our group setting, we won't drill down, let's say you wanna do, I don't know, you wanna learn to climb the rope, well, that's going to come up every once in a while in our group setting, but not all the time. And if, so if you really want to get down in, uh, to the details of climbing rope, then yeah, hire one of the coaches for some PT and they will just focus on you and your goal. And that's uh, perfect, right? Uh, on the flip side, you could be in class and say, hey, I'd like to climb that rope. After class, could you give me some tips? And the answer is usually yes, unless they are coaching the next class, right? That doesn't make any sense. They have to actually get the next class going. Okay, so you do the no sweat intro, you jump right into personal training. The next is, and what's coming up, and this is great for uh, a, a gift to our members. So somebody had mentioned this a long time ago, and um, again, this is why you should have a mentor or a coach. They're gonna offer things to you that you just won't think of. In this case, it wasn't a mentor or a coach, it was just someone that's excited about the gym, and listening to them, they're gonna give you ideas that just maybe didn't come to you, right? So uh, they said, hey, you should do a bring a friend week. I'm like, wow, I, I really should. Let's talk about that. I don't know why I hadn't thought of it. It's so easy and so smart. So it's a gift that we're giving our members. Hey, if you've got friends, family members, loved ones, or even people you hate and you just want to crush them, <laughs> you, this wouldn't work for that. But uh, friends, loved ones, family members, etc., that you want to bring in, uh, this is a week that we do. The one that's coming up in October is going to be, uh, we're going to throttle back the technical needs so that we can have your friends move through the workouts appropriately as well. So instead of saying, hey, we're doing, I don't know, clean and jerk, we're gonna change it to we're doing deadlift, right? So everyone will do deadlift, we'll do some running. We may still pick up the stone, that's pretty easy, but it's gonna be fun, you will be coached, and there won't be things in there that is out of bounds like hey today is 30 muscle ups for time which nobody that you bring in is well maybe not nobody very few people you bring in are just going to be able to throw down muscle ups so um, we don't usually program those anyway that's usually an upscaled or an rx plus option so we're going to bring it down make it a little bit more manageable for the new people which is kind of fun, so if you're in the gym and you're like, hey, I would like to bring my friend in, but I want to show them what I'm doing and like like crush it, well, yes, you are going to crush these workouts because you're gonna think to yourself, huh, yeah, I do this all the time. And so it's gonna be great for you, it'll be fun, and your friend will be able to come in and they're gonna have a good time. We'll give them a full week. I would definitely recommend them coming in the full week. Monday, go kind of on the easy side. So let's say, I don't know, it's a 20 minute workout. I'm going to tell them, look, I just want you to go one minute on, one minute off. And they're gonna think to themselves, no, that's way too easy. Trust me, it is not too easy. CrossFit has the uh, ability to really make it tough on you, and um, we want to make it manageable and smart so that you can come back tomorrow. And then when you come back Tuesday, like, all right, let's say it's, I don't know, a 10 minute workout. Yeah, let's do the whole thing, okay? I may reduce the weights, I may maybe change some of the movements, but this is what the coach does for you. They look at you, they say, hey, these are what your fitness boundaries are. Let us help you um, roll inside of those. So if you've never done anything, that is totally fine. We work with people like that all the time. If you are um, a college athlete, that's totally fine too. We work with you all the time. S sort of the hardest person to work with is someone like myself, which is a guy who did things in college and feels like, oh, I could totally do that. Like, great, if you haven't done anything in 20 years, please just be patient 
and let us um, guide you through this week of workouts and you're gonna have a much better time than if you just jump straight in going, um, you know, uh, full tilt because you, you know, in your 20s in college, you were doing exactly something like this, right? So give us some time, let us work with you. I would also recommend to anybody that's brand new that's coming into that bring, bring a friend week to stretch. This is gonna help members stretch. A lot of times, you know, we'll tell people, hey, let's, we, have, we have time at the end of the workout, we're going to stretch. And they're like, okay, see ya, I'm out. <laughs> they don't stretch. Hey man, I get it, life, it can be busy, but I always recommend people mobilize. Being mobile is just as powerful in pursuing that um, health and fitness now, as well as in our 90s, than doing strength work, okay? So they're on an equal caliber. So please take the time to stretch when you come. All right, the next thing you can do, and, and, well, let me back up. Friends, that doesn't cost you anything. Uh, members, that doesn't cost your friends anything. This is our gift we want to give to you, to give to your friends. They really only have to sign a waiver. The, uh, I guess some caveats in there would be, this is, um, not for children. So if they're still in school, this is, or not college, if they're in you know middle school or high school, elementary school, this isn't for them. High schooler, maybe, uh, just let us know, talk to us, and we'll, we'll figure that out. If they've never done anything in their life, the answer is no, because we're bringing them into an adult class and we wanted to give consideration to our customers. We don't want to just bring in someone brand spanking new that is never, that is super awkward and goofy. We do work with people like that. Um, uh, I, I can be that person in certain movements, um, but we just need to do it in an appropriate manner. So we want to take you through the correct um, startup process, not uh, bring, a, bring a friend. So that's somebody who is, um, you know, they're just normal people, nothing pro, nothing negative uh, against their mobility and their movements. What I'm really speaking on is if you've got a middle schooler or a high schooler that you're like, yeah, they don't do anything and they're super awkward and goofy, they're growing into their body. Okay, that's not for them yet. Let's let's be a little bit smart about it. Now, we do offer summer strength for uh, students and that's where we teach them a lot of stuff. So a great example, we've got Oliver who's been doing summer strength. I think this is his second or maybe third year of doing summer strength with us. And <clears throat> he is very excited that his dad said yes, thumbs up to you can come to class with me. And he asked us, hey, can I bring Oliver into class? I'm like, yeah, totally. He is um, easy to work with, he is mature, and he has shown us over the last two summers he can take instruction and he knows his body. He, he's kinesthetically, he's, he's um, aware of his, his position, his body position in the world. So the answer is yes. So we did basically two years worth or two summers of, of introing him into movements and he has shown great progressions. So we give a thumbs up to that. Yes, please bring him into class. Now on the flip side, um, if you don't want to wait till next summer, let us know. That's what we have personal training for. We can totally take your kid and ramp them up. We'll just do it a little bit different, okay? All right, so the next one is Alumni Week. So in November, we uh, another member of, uh, actually this wasn't a member, this was another owner from another gym that's also in the Two Brain Business Mentoring Program. Um, he said, yeah, we do an Alumni Week. I'm like, ooh, wait, what is that? And so basically, if you were a member with us at some point, you, and it was three months or more, so, text me, email me, whatever, and then we'll look up your uh, attendance and see, then we will um, allow you to come back in as a gift of uh, uh, health and fitness to try or use CrossFit again. Yes, we would love for you to stay, but it's our gift. Come in, you do not have to stay. We'll just make sure you have a current waiver on file. The workouts will not be adjusted or modified. The coach will do their normal thing, which is, you know, hey, today is, um, I don't know, let's say it's grace, so it's uh, 30 clean and jerks at 135 pounds, and you haven't done anything, I don't know, let's say in six months. But you you came to us for six months, okay? So that's the scenario. You know, you're a 40-year-old guy who came to us for six months and then took six, six months off. We're gonna say, yes, you're welcome to come back. We'd love to have you. We're going to edit this workout so that it makes sense for you. That's, the coaches do this all the time. It's the beauty of CrossFit. The coaches will coach you at your level to get you through the workout with some intensity while learning skills. So if you'd only come to us, let's say you did our on-ramp uh, sessions and then you came for a week and then, I don't know, you moved to Tennessee or decided that CrossFit wasn't for you. It's a year later and you're like, yes, I'd like to give it another go. This wouldn't be a great opportunity because you really don't know what you're doing. And what we don't want the coach to do, we do, yes, it is a gift to you, but the coach is focused on our current members and we didn't adjust the workouts to make them 
any uh, uh, make the compl- complexity easier. So they're still needing to coach everybody, and we don't want to take away from our members that we're coaching. So if you can seamlessly jump into it and be like, oh yes, I do know what a clean and drink is, I am good, that is great. And yes, we will totally coach you, but we don't wanna have to bring you back to, okay, so have you ever done a clean? Do you remember a clean? Can you get under the bar? Do you know how to, right? What are your hands should be? What should your feet be? We want you to know those sort of things so that you can move into class. So yes, it is our gift to you. And the gift I guess we request back is that you you know, know what you're doing and you can jump right into class and you feel seamless. Now, again, if it's been a while and you're like, well, I can't just jump into class. I do need to scale and modify. That is totally fine. You knew those words. You knew what we needed to do. So I'm sure that makes sense. But that is our gift to alumni to say thank you for past business. Uh, and of course, we hope you come back. All right. So the next one is, uh, um, I, I've been saying this in multiple podcasts and a couple of y'all took me up on it. Um, and that's, uh, a class with you and a uh, class. That's not a great way to call it a session with you and your friends. So let's say you've got five friends and want to try out CrossFit. Yeah. Let me know. I will totally create a class just for you and your friends. It'll be outside of normal class time. So maybe like 10 30 AM, uh, during the week or, uh, you know, 10 AM on, uh, Saturday. That's, you know, after regular class. That way, it's just you and your friends. We'll come up with a program together. It'll be something like 45 minutes and to give everyone a little bit of fitness, a little bit of what CrossFit is, and of course, give you, the member, a little bit of a smile saying, yes, I just crushed all my friends. Thank you for picking the things that I really love. And so um, it'll be a lot of fun. There is no cost to that. That is my gift to members because I want you and your friends to experience what, not you're already experiencing it. I want your friends and loved ones to experience what you do. Whether they're going to be a member or not, I don't really care. I just want you to be able to share what you have found. So I'm happy to give that to you. The other way you can get involved is you don't even have to do the sweaty stuff. We offer nutrition coaching and you can get involved with that and never do anything sweaty. You'll probably come into the gym so that we can get you on our uh, BMI scale. But besides that, you can do it all virtual or either Zoom or FaceTime or email or text. And you can either do, we'll do uh, group challenges. And I hate to say the word challenge. There's no real challenge in it. The challenge is just participate. Maybe group participation, group sessions, group classes. Um, The other way is you um, hire Coach Laura one-on-one. And she works with you, just you, on your stuff. So in the group scenario, she has a plan and it's set out. And everyone's going to follow along in this plan. So many times, uh, the goals are, yes, that is mine. Sometimes you're like, no, that's not my goal. So... Typically, it's going to be something like, hey, we're going to create habits to help you lose weight. Now, if you're my son, Levi, he's like, yeah, I'm not interested in losing weight at all. I want to gain weight. Could he do the group challenge? Eh, maybe. He could change it and say, I hear what you're saying. And when you say track for reduction, I should say track for expansion in what I'm eating. And the answer is yes. So it is actually pretty easy to switch those around. But probably better for uh, Levi would to just hire Laura to help him on the road of success on his own particular goals. So you can do that. Think of it like um, jumping in with personal training inside of the sweaty uh, portion, right? So this would be personal training for nutrition coaching, or you can jump right into the group uh, nutrition, never having done anything before. Uh, Laura does that all the time. So she is great with either um, uh, habit-based coaching or macro-based coaching, uh, whether you're trying to lose weight, gain weight, or have some specific needs. Like, I want to find ways to drink more water throughout the day because I hear that's great. Yes, we do do that. Okay. The other way you can participate, and this would be not even coming into the gym at all. You just want to do something on your own. That's totally fine. We post our workouts to our website. So if we go to CrossFitGarage.com and then click up in the top right, it says WADS or Workout of the Day, so WAD, then it will list out for you each WAD posted daily. Now, the post from our system, Wattify, into WordPress, which is our website, isn't uh, awesome, Isn't uh, uh, doesn't have the it's not uh, um, positioning the format. It doesn't have a perfect format. So it sort of just burps it all out and it's like stream of conscious. It's just one long sentence. So it's easy to figure out what you should be doing, but just realize it looks kind of weird and um, I have not been able to find a great way to fix that. When I did try to fix it, it actually stopped posting and it took one of our uh, alumni to say, hey, it no longer posts. I didn't even notice because, yeah. Um, and so I went back there and got that fixed. So you can follow along 
totally fine. You can even go to CrossFit.com and follow CrossFit's main site programming. Um, so we also have most of our programming written with an at-home edition. That's kind of different. If you want that, then that's going to cost a little bit of money. So, but you can still do it at home. So you can do what we do with limited gear or no gear at home. But you'd have to sign up for that, and I can get that to you. The other way you can do it is, like I said, I had mentioned earlier, if you get in our email list, so you go to CrossFit.com, you sign up for either uh, I'd like to have a meeting or I just want to get on the email list or I'd like, you know, you know, any of the stuff that has your uh, name, email, and cell phone number, if you fill out any of that, it'll kick out to you our automatic email saying, hey, we got you in our system. And in that system, in the email, there is a link to the 32 at-home workouts. So this way we do 32, so it's more than 31, so you'll always be able to have one extra workout if you want to replace something, and you can work out every single day. I never recommend people work out seven days a week. You should always have some sort of rest in there, but, you know, hey, you do you. If you find a system that works for you, great. So you can do these at-home workouts, so if you have questions about, hey, what does that mean, just email, text me, whatever, and I'll help you figure out what it means. For the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory, or you can Google it or YouTube, um, whatever it is you don't understand and there's going to be something. So on YouTube, the trick there is you just put in CrossFit and then put in whatever it is you want and it'll give you the CrossFit definition or a video with somebody doing it in the CrossFit world because not everything is exactly the same. It's like when you're doing that warm-up maneuver where you kind of like jog sideways and your legs are kind of going back and forth like you're dancing. Sometimes people call it karaoke. Some people call it grapevine. Well, yeah, just put in CrossFit grapevine and it'll be like, oh, it's just karaoke or whatever they call it, right? So it's a pretty easy way to figure out what's what. And it's an easy way to get started. I don't want to be around anybody. I don't need any help. I just want to do my own thing, but I would like a little guidance. Yeah, totally. Download it. I don't care. That's what we're there for. We want to help first. Everything we do, it's pretty much given away for free, except for the coaching, mentoring, and accountability. That's when you come to a CrossFit gym. That's when you come for something like that, right? So um, the, the obvious thing in the coaching is, yeah, you're on the floor with us. We're going to coach you. Uh, accountability, if you have a hard time coming in, making that routine, then if we don't see you in two days, you're getting a call, you're getting a text, you're getting something from us saying, hey, where are you? What's going on? If you're going out of town, hey, what can I do to work out? Yeah, we're going to give you ideas. This is what we do. We are personal service to you to help you in your health and fitness. So hiring a mentor, hiring a coach shortcuts the process. Yes, you can totally do all of this on your own. People who are okay doing that, you do not need to come to us. That's not what we're there for. We are not for everybody. I am very self-motivated. If you give me some tasks, I'll put it in my calendar, I block it, and I am good. I'm going to get those done. But I know when it comes to actually getting sweaty, I do better when I'm around people, and I like it when somebody tells me, hey, you need to go lower on that rep. Hey, you need to fix this right here. Hey, you would do a better job with this. I'm like, okay, great. So I want that accelerator and I want that accountability. If you're also into mentoring, what we do now, um, we are working on uh, goals for people. So I'll have people give me three goals with health and fitness and then one that is not that, right? So something at work or home or I don't know, whatever, right? Any goal that you want. I wanna read more books, great. Let me help you with that. And I've been doing goals uh, since, man, I was in, I guess, ninth grade. And my dad started exposing us to things like, where there's a will, there's an A. And that was the first really goal-centric book that I read. And then Stephen Covey's book, and it just went from there. And if you ever were in the sales world like me, then you know that uh, goals, positive analogy, and all that stuff is uh, key for getting you through your tasks and the things you need to do to hit your quota and get things done. So I, uh, Goals and I, we are old friends, and I can help people set those. And, and Well, I mean, reaching them is kind of up to you, but we can set you on the path and create appropriate steps. So anybody that's a member with us, we do that. So now I've got a Google Sheet with, uh, I probably have 20 people that I have Google Sheets with, and um, I've got your goals written up, and then some questions and some how-tos and some steps for you. So, for example, one of the non-health and fitness goals had to do with business and um, well, this member is actually still driving to work so he's got a 45 minute commute one way and then and of course five, 45 minutes back and I'm like well what do you do in the car well I mostly listen to music I'm like okay so here's your task find 10 podcasts that you could listen to so a couple that are in your 
um, job environment. So let's say, I don't know, let's say they are doing um, computer repair. That's not it, but you know, whatever. I'm just making something up right now. So they're in the computer repair. So find something in the IT world, computer repair world, that you can listen to that will give you some insight into what you're already doing. Okay, perfect. Then I want you to find something that um, is interesting and motivational to you. So maybe it's a uh, podcast on CrossFit. Maybe it's a podcast on positive mindset, right? So find 10 things, <clears throat> give them each a shot, and then pick two that you really enjoy and start listening to them. And from there, we'll grow, right? But it's just an easy step. And yes, could they have thought of that step on their own? Surely. Why didn't they? Because it's really hard sometimes to see your own solutions, right? To see the forest because of all the trees of the problems in your life. So those problems, those trees, those whatever the issues get in your way and it's hard to see what you're trying to go to. So having somebody that isn't in the trenches is super advantageous when trying to set up these things. So that's what we do for members right now. So do you want that? If you do, that's what we do here, right? So I have got, like I said, about 20 people's Google Docs up. I think half the people have been very interactive with their document and the other half are like, I don't know if I know what you mean yet. What do you mean by Google Doc? What do you mean by a living document? What do you mean by that? So it's just a little education or they're not at the one year mark and so I've got their goals listed and we're just waiting for them to get closer to the one year mark to uh, refine these goals and to uh, drill down on them to see how, how they're doing. So anyway, this is what you do and why you would get involved in something like a CrossFit gym if you're looking for coaching, mentoring, and accountability. This is why you can make a difference between, hey, I'm just following online, I've got my 32 at-home workouts, I'm just doing everything by myself. Totally fine. If you're self-motivated, I love that. Here's my recommendation, though. If you're thinking to yourself, I would like to start at CrossFit Garage or any CrossFit gym out there, what should I do? This is the same advice I gave to my buddy Cam. If you listen to that uh, episode, if you haven't, you should. If you've listened to that episode, then you know where I'm going to go with this. It's find a gym that's close to you. That's probably going to be the best thing. The next is to look at some of the things about the gym to see if it's going to be a, a good one for you to go to. And some of the things are, are they're easy to look at like, hey, what's the square footage of the gym? If it's a thousand square feet, it's probably not going to be a great CrossFit gym because you just need some space to get things done, especially if they have a, a lot of members. Um, the other one is how many classes do they have? So if the classes aren't convenient to you, then well, that's a big, you know, non-starter. But let's let's say they have 15 classes a day, but the only coach listed is the owner. That means the owner is doing every single class. Most likely, you can email and ask him, hey, do you have any other coaches? If they're doing 15 classes a day, or even nine classes a day, or or even six, they're going to be burnt out. And especially by the last class, they're like less than useful so it's very tough to be the sole guy doing everything so just watch out for that the next one is if they only let's say they only have a five, I'm gonna make this really bad so let's say they only have five uh, four classes two in the morning and two in the evening but they list 20 coaches <laughs> well that means that you know every coach has one class a week and that's it maybe not even that how can that coach ever really get to know you and coach you? So there is a upper limits on the number of coaches. I'd say somewhere between maybe three and six is a good number of coaches. And then somewhere in the number of classes, something like five to 10 is probably a good number. Now, the number really doesn't matter if they don't have the class time that you need. So if you're like, I need to work out at 10 p.m. and there's no 10 p.m., well, that's not gonna be the gym for you. Don't do it, right? Um, so the way I would start though is, is that. Let's go with the closest gyms. Let's look at their websites and see if some of those things make sense. Notice how I did not say, let's look at price. If you find the thing that's going to work for you, the price doesn't really matter, it's going to work. CrossFit gyms are gonna range between $150 and $250 a month. Um, I also would not go into a gym um, and start up with contracts. Usually they will say, hey, um, if you sign a year contract, then we will uh, reduce the membership uh, price by some amount. We don't do contracts because I just don't like it. When somebody says, hey, I know I just signed a contract last, last month, but I'm moving to Alaska. Technically, I've got you. I can take your money for a year. But man, what a jackass move to take. Like, I mean, we're, we're going into this with openness, honesty, and I'm your coach, I'm your mentor. Uh, the first thing I don't want it to be is like, now I'm going to like whack you on the head with a contract. So we don't do contracts. There is no reduction of price. We want to work with everyone exactly the same. Everybody in our gym pays the exact same amount and um, everyone gets the exact same level of service. Um, so, I, well, let me back that up. I did have one guy that was um, coaching for us and um, he's like, I don't want you to, I don't want you to pay me for uh, doing this one class 
but I also, I'll, I will take no payment. It's like, so don't make me pay for the gym, but also don't pay me. So I'm like, that's totally fine. So he was doing our Sunday class and he said, um, hey, so one thing is interesting. Uh, usually nobody coaches me. I'm like, well, okay, that's my fault. I have told our coaches, um, coach members first, coach coaches second. And if we have anybody that's doing anything for us um, uh, barter wise, they're not paying, so don't coach them. And maybe that was a, a bonehead move of mine, but that was on the books from years ago. And I said, so yeah, that's my fault. And so I did go back and change that with all the uh, coaches. Like, hey, look, if you see them doing something, they coach them too. Even though it's uh, you know barter, let's, let's do the right thing here. So that was totally my fault. And I got that one rectified. But uh, you want to pay for the service and you want to test that gym out. So go there for a month, go there for two months. And if you don't like it, try something else, right? If you're like, well, I just left and now I realize that it was the best gym for me, I would like to come back. That is totally fine. They want you back. They want to work with you, right? Unless it's not a good fit. So our gym, we are happy, humble, helpful people who want to be healthy and fit now as well as in our 90s. So if that doesn't sound like you, do not come to our gym. You are not going to like it. I am going to mention things to you like, um, like uh, let's see, um, Alex said something about his uh, Airbnb that they just uh, purchased. And I listened to a lot of podcasts and one of the podcasts was talking about insurance in Airbnbs and how some people set it up incorrectly. So I sent that over to him because I'm helpful. And he's like, dude, that is awesome. He is humble. He said, yes, I had, I wasn't sure if we did our in insurance correct and I've already listened to that episode. Thank you, right? Happy humble. We help each other out all the time. If you're not into that, do not come to our gym. You are going to hate it. Um, we tell people all the time when I do my uh, uh, lead call outs, if you're into coaching, mentoring, and accountability, you're gonna love us. If you don't need it, don't come here. You're gonna hate it. Okay, the other thing, um, look at their vision. Usually they list their mission, vision, motto, all that stuff. We do. Our vision is to, um, uh, or mission, is to help you become the hero of your own story. We want you to learn everything you possibly can, and if you want to say, okay, I'm out, I'm gonna go do it on my own. Perfect. That is awesome. We want you to be equipped with everything. You need a coach and a mentor to shortcut the process. If you understand the process and you're good on it, then great, take it out on your own and go do it on your own. We love that. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, look at those things. If they stand for what you stand for, perfect, go do it. Um, obviously, um, I mean, our gym, uh, it, we stand for health and fitness. It, it, kind of a no-brainer, but not everybody is actually into that. They're like, hey, I want a body sculpt. Do you do hypertrophy training? Yes, for personal training, but no, in the group environment, we do not do, we do not do hypertrophy. And that is actually a hard lesson to get across from any of the guys who grew up in the 80s and 90s where basically hypertrophy was the only thing you could do. That's the um, back, by chest and tri legs, right? So you do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you repeat. Um, that is very old school. We do not do that. Um, well. Let me take that back. My son, uh, both of them do do that, but they do it on their own. And so it is not something they do with me. They're just uh, in there doing hypertrophy. And um, I mean, they're still into CrossFit and some days they do do CrossFit, but they're teenage boys. They want to be bigger. I am a 50 year old man. I do not want to be bigger. <laughs> I want to have a very athletic body. And that's where we aim everyone. You will look like an athlete over time, especially if you let us adjust your nutrition. Though, I know many of you are like, do not touch my nutrition, right guys? Okay, we'll uh, take some time. Okay, so uh, my recommendation is to do exactly what they suggest uh, when in the startup. If the startup has something like a fundamentals or on ramp or something like that program, so what we do if somebody's brand new to the gym, we'll do five one on one sessions that take about thirty minutes each, and we will help coach them through some of them like complicated, difficult things to help them get acclimated, not just with us in the gym, but us to them. And so it makes it a very easy transfer if they want to go into class. I would say 95, something like that, percent of the people that do our intro program go into group classes. Some people stay into personal training, well, even now, so forever, I guess. That is totally fine. We want to help you be what, you know, get to where you want to be at. And if uh, doing PT is it, then great, let's do it. Okay. What I would not do is what we used to do to everybody, and I can't believe we did it. Back then it made sense because I didn't know any better, but now, you know, just 
so taking a step back and thinking about it, it was really bad. So you would call up and say, I'm interested in CrossFit. And we would say, great, come to the uh, four o'clock class. Uh, we'll throw you in and see if, if, it, if it works. And it was just basically sink or swim. We couldn't really coach you all that well because we're trying to coach everybody else. And who knew what the workout was going to be? And it was um, maybe in 15 years, we would, it was like maybe 10% sticky. So I tell people all the time, they're like, can I just come in and try a class? I'm like, no, because I'm 90% sure you're not going to stay. I would rather you do it the right way. And we stick to those guns. And people say, well, fine, I'm not coming in. I'm like, that's okay. There are other gyms out there that will do it. And you probably won't stay with them either because, I mean, after 15 years, seeing that only 10% are sticky on it, it, it's a pretty good indicator it doesn't work. And so what it does for me as a business, it's like when we did Groupon, we would take a bunch of new people in and we would just hope it worked and we would try really hard to coach everybody, but you really couldn't. So I was reducing the service that I gave to my, um, my, my uh, long-term members that were paying full price to try to coach people that were essentially from Groupon, I'd get about 10 bucks, that paid 10 bucks for the month and trying to hope I could coach them and get them to stay so that we could get a gym that was sustainable. So basically it was a toilet spinning, you know, or, 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 you know, the stuff spinning around the toilet, just going down the drain. It does not work. It's the, it's one of the fastest ways to ruin your business is to offer discounts on service and then not render that service correctly to the people who are actually paying your prices. So we got rid of that. And we also got rid of the, um, yeah, just come in and try us for a day or a week because it does not work. Now you're thinking, wait, Andy, you just said you can do bring a friend. That's basically coming in and try it for a week. Yes but we've adjusted the entire week to be intentional for that. So I'm saying don't throw you into class. Now we did do for Groupon and it was okay for a bit, but it got messy quickly, um, was uh, we created an 8 p.m. class and said anybody that's doing Groupon, you must come into that 8 p.m. class. That is the only class you could use. And um, at first uh, we could stick to it real strict and then people are like, but I can't, could I just? And I'm like, oh, fine, maybe. And then it became a, um, the, a poop show and people were going everywhere at any time and it just was no bueno the coaches were mad members were mad and um, so eventually in the end what um, when I hired a mentor they're like yes you totally need to get off the group on it's a, just a great way to destroy your business how is your business going right now my like, yeah, it's destroying me so we ended that and things um, were fine up until COVID then you know we're still slowly coming back out of that one we're okay but um, we're just like, we used to be 150 members and we're running a gym at 150 member level. And now we're about 105 members and you know, we're just need to right size our expenses to not spend at 150. So it's not a big deal. We just have to be smart about what we're doing and more intentional anyway. So do not start by just jumping into class. That is really bad. If they say, Oh, don't worry about it. We can totally do that. Just jump into class, man. I, I would, I just wouldn't do it. I would go to a different gym and at least do their intro. Let's say there's two gyms. One is like five minutes from your house and that is the gym that says just jump in. And the other gym is 30 minutes from your house, but they've got a great on-ramp or foundations program. Go do that. Spend a month or two at their gym and then go try the other gym and see if you can make it work because close is good. But probably you're going to find um, the community and the mindset of that close gym is going to be off and you're probably not going to like it. Okay, so how I wouldn't start a new gym is exactly that. I just would not jump straight in and be like, oh, I hope this works. So my buddy Cam did it that way, and um, he still laughs about it. He went in, and it was like five, uh, 10 years ago. I said, you should do CrossFit. And he went in there, jumped into a class, pulled into some parking lot. I feel like it was a Dunkin' Donuts, and uh, barfed and then called me and said, I hate you. That's what we don't want to do. We don't want to put you through that. We want to make it a uh, smooth transition and show you how open and easy it can be if you simply listen to the coach. Okay, so other things that I had mentioned is look at their, uh, their motto, their mission, their vision. Ask if they have a coaching uh, philosophy. So my coaches know the easy philosophy are the three Fs, fun, fitness, for coaching. So we know that if you're having fun, you will come back. If you come back, you are going to get fit. It's just impossible to do CrossFit and not become fitter than you were last year. And if you're becoming fit, you're going to understand that we, that, that you're going to know that we care, and then you're going to care what we know, and you're really going to let us coach you. So <clears throat> yes, we coach everybody, but um, we have found that it takes some establishment of trust to really let that coaching sink in. So anyway, that is my three Fs, it's, you know, my funny, stupid thing, you know, part of fun, fun fitness for coaching. 
And then um, we also have a uh, kind of a slogan that I use in this podcast, but it kind of typifies what we're really trying to do, and that is build a firm foundation in fitness, food, and finances. And why, why that? Well, because our motto is happy, humble, helpful people who want to be healthy now as well as in our 90s. And yes, fitness and food are really great to be healthy and fit now, but you need a habit so you can be healthy and fit in the future. But if you're not, if you don't have money, then your future looks mighty bleak. Now, on the other side, if you have a ton of money but no fitness and health, then your future looks mighty bleak, right? So you need both of those. Now, the other things you really need is, I think the, the five pillars are, I think it's something like move, um, rest, stress, nutrition, and relationships. So one, off, one side shoot of this whole CrossFit journey is the community that has developed. When you find people that are like-minded, happy, humble, helpful, and we're on a journey of health and fitness, then weirdly, you're like, hey, I have found my best friend here. I didn't even know they existed, and here they are, just waiting for me to become friends. And that happens a lot. So much so that I know uh, of, um, just off the top of my head, um, two couples that have met here at the gym and gotten married and had kids. So there are two families out there that may not exist had they not gone to a place that has people gathering in like-mindedness, right? So yes, there are probably better ways to find people. Uh, church is a great place. The bar, probably not a great place unless you're really into that scene. Uh, if you really love dancing, like going to a line dancing and meeting people there is probably a great way to go, especially if you want dancing to be a big part of, of who and what you are. <clears throat> so having that relationship is key. But building that firm foundation. We want you, why we, why I chose the word firm foundation, one, is that foundation for your life. We want you to have those habits and firm, we want you to be able to fall back on them. So you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to your the list, to the level of your systems, right, when, when, when problems come up. So we want to have those systems in place, habits, routines, that you know you can fall back on when times get rough, or even if they don't. And, um, and then um, fitness, because that's what we do is functional fitness. And then uh, food, I want you to know first, eat better, stop eating it uh, at uh, fast food places. S- start to make your food if you can. Grocery store shopping is great. Um, meal prep, all that sort of things. Then I want you to know your food's source. So if you're just buying uh, Timmy's meat off the shelf, how about buy something that may be a little bit smarter? Like, I don't know, can you buy <clears throat> something that was uh, produced organically or locally, right? Know your food source, research it. And then in the last step would be be part of your food source. Grow something. So right now I have a chi- chicken egg production facility kind of ish. It's my backyard and they just wander around and into the woods that are behind our yard. And the problem with having free range chickens is the predators have a field day with it. And I have just come to terms that um, 90% of my chickens go to predators and I get to keep 10%. <laughs> and so what I'm trying to do right now is keep the laying hen population that 10%. So we hatch a lot of decoys and some of those decoys get smart and they grow up to become hatching hens. Other decoys are out there in the middle of the field going, hey guys, don't you want to come out here in the wide open grass and pick on some of these uh, uh, bees or whatever that nobody's eating? And they're like, no buddy, you go for it. And the hawk's like, thank you, as they come in and swoop and pick them up and take off. So you you, you are not allowed to shoot uh, or harm hawks. So uh, hawks just get to have a field day. Coyotes, you do. You can shoot those things anytime you want, but you have to be awake at like 2 a.m. And I just have a really hard time being awake at 2 a.m. Unless it's to go to the bathroom, in which case I just want to do that and go back to bed. So um, know your food's foundation. And the next one is finances. And really the finance piece that I would say is very similar to the fitness piece. Let compounding interest do its thing. So come in every day and let the compound interest of showing up daily do its thing. Same thing for your investments also hire a mentor, right? So Vincent Financial, Aaron and his crew, a bunch of them coming to the gym, they are great with money. If you're not sure what to do, hire them. It's a no brainer, right? It's just like in your car. You don't really know how your car works, but maybe you can change change the oil. But if you want the oil to be changed correctly and fast, go take it to an expert, hire a mentor or a coach, you know, pay them to do it. Same thing for your finances. If you're not entirely sure, if you didn't go to school to be a a financial whiz and you're not entirely sure of what you're doing, then 
pay somebody. Actually, many financial advisors don't even manage their own money. That way they could take the emotions out of it. The emotional ride of the finance thing is just bad. You're like, I have a system, great, follow the system. And then you inject emotion and you fall off uh, the wagon big time. I listened to Principles, Ray Dalio's book, the guy that has, it's was it Blackwater, Black, something Black, uh, Stone, whatever. They manage like trillions of dollars worth of people's monies and um, influence the world just because you know, they've got all these 401ks and all these uh, uh, portfolios and whatever. Um, if you listen to his book, he, he basically says, I realized quickly that I needed to have a method and a model. So I took out a motion. I followed a method and a model. Then computers came along <clears throat> and we could put our method and model into the computer and with a program. And then Excel came, came out and I could use Excel with those models. And I could, again, follow the model and just follow the logic steps that I put in place. And then we realized there was machine learning. I could tell the, the computer to learn what I'm trying to teach it so they would know. And now there's AI tools. And the, uh, so, right, basically what he did to become a trezillionaire or whatever he is, uh, is he took emotion out of the investments and he let the logic and the rules dictate it. And then he can prey on all of y'all's emotions. So the stock market is, is nothing except me taking advantage of you because we have different ideas of what's happening. I think my idea is going to work and you think your idea is gonna work. Only one of us is right. We're exchanging money back and forth. Um, unless you're doing maybe an IPO and then you're, you're exchanging with the company. But um, hire someone to help you. Uh, another huge one, the first step on that would be to get out of debt. I, I'm, I'm going to find somebody to talk to with you guys to how to get out of debt, but the easy answer is use Dave Ramsey's Debt Snowball um, and understand what you're spending and then start paying off small ones and then big ones um, to be smart with your money. So you need, to, to get there in the end, you need rest, so sleep well. I have a podcast coming out on that. It, it'll, I, it'll po should have posted already before this one. And then um, move. So, hey, you got functional fitness, great. Your finances, you hire someone to do that, right? Relationships, you need to have close relationships or you will die. It's, it's proven that um, those that live longer, there's been a study, that they did a study, oh man, it was a long one and it had a, a, hundreds of people in it. And they found the only common denominator that really they could see on um, all these people on their longevity was they have good relationships. So that was one of the capstones. Okay, anyway, I'm getting off track. This is about how to get involved in a CrossFit gym and what you should do and what it could be like. These are steps you can do with us. Um, start off with the no sweat intro, possibly use personal training. Another one is to come in to bring a friend. Hopefully you have a friend here at the gym or members if you have friends. Uh, alumni week, if you've already been here before or members, if you've got friends that were in the gym, let them know what's coming up. That'll be, let's see, bring a friend is in October. I think it's 16th. Um, uh, uh, alumni week is the middle of November. I forgot what day that starts with. And then, of course, you have the, hey, I got friend, five friends and I want to have their own class. You can do an Andy session, totally fine. Or you can do nutrition with us. Don't even come to class. And then we have the at-home options. Guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. I really want you guys to understand that I am there to help you, even if you're not in our community, especially if you're here in our community, but even not. If you're like, hey, I need to find a gym, I, I have already helped a dozen people find gyms just by saying, hey, roughly, where do you live? Okay, I'm in this crossroads here and here in Chicago. Great, let me zoom in there. Let's Google CrossFit gyms near that spot and start taking a look at it. You know, what are your key objectives? Who are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you function best with? And we can drill down and I can narrow it down from the 20 CrossFit gyms that are within 10 miles of you to the five that make the most sense. And then you can go from there. So at least you're making a wise choice. Uh, we are here to help you. Go to our website, CrossFitGarage.com. You can find us on most of the socials. And um, if you need my help directly, Andy at CrossFitGarage.com. All right, guys, take care. And yes, even you can multitask, drive to Auburn to drop off college gear and do podcasts. All right, guys, be good.